I appreciate the clerk answering my questions. And, and I know that may have seemed a little routine. That's something I think all of us knew. But it's something that I wanted to put on the record for those who may be watching today. I filed a resolution, Senate Joint Resolution 254, last week. I filed it to rescind the COS resolution, the Convention of States resolution, calling for an Article 5 convention that we all voted for last year. I sponsored. It's, I wasn't trying to rescind another member's resolution. I would filed a, a resolution to rescind one that I sponsored. I did it because of the shameful way this group has attacked a fellow Article 5 group, and that be the, being the balanced budget amendment uh, resolution and the, the people who are supporting it. Over the last couple of weeks, Chairman Kelsey uh, and I, Representative Powers in the House, we have been negotiating with this group, and I'm sorry, uh, Chairman Ketron as well. We have been negotiating, trying to, to get the COS group to quit attacking a fellow group that is within five states of reaching the 34 state prerequisite number. And they refused to do it. And so I filed this recension resolution as a last measure, last resort. After talking to them for the last couple of days, I think we've reached a resolution to where they may, uh, they're, they're going to, we're going to have discussions with them over the next week before the BBA resolution is heard in the House. And in good faith, knowing that those discussions are coming, in just a moment, Mr. Speaker, I'm going to move to withdraw Senate Joint Resolution 254, which is the resolution to rescind the COS resolution. But I'm going to withdraw it only with the, with, with the COS leadership in this state knowing full well I will file it again if they come back and make any move to defeat the BBA resolution, I will file it again. And, and, and members, they, they turned their national group loose on me. I got about a thousand emails last night. I don't know how many phone calls my office got. And to tell you the truth, I don't really care what somebody from Utah or Michigan or Vermont says to me. They don't vote for me. Every one of my constituents who contacted me, which I think it was only three, who I called back, and when I told them what their leadership was doing, they understood and they agreed with what I did. And so, Mr. Speaker, I now move to withdraw Senate Joint Resolution 254, but with full knowledge to those who, who are listening that I will, I will refile it again if, this, um, if they don't pull back from their opposition to the BBA. Without objection, the resolution, Senate Joint Resolution 254 is withdrawn.